Hi everybody, my name is Imaola Aguirre and I'm in my second year of uh, PhD at ASTI. The title of my work is Population Structure of White Anglerfish Within the North Atlantic Ocean. So first of all, uh, as a quick idea of uh, what a stock is, an stock is a um, fisheries management unit where different parameters are measured, as for example, uh, fish mortality, fish or growth, um, recruitment, and so on, in order to better assess uh, marine resources. The problem is that not always uh, there is a concordance between um, management and the stock and the real biological structure of the of the species and ignoring this information can jeopardize quite a lot of stocks and could bring to a depletion of the of the species okay um the case study of today is the white anglerfish um lophis piscatorius it's a really valuable species uh, in Europe and they are targeted by uh, mixed troll fisheries and gill net fisheries and our objective is uh, to assess uh, the population structure of uh, these species. Uh, for that um, we use uh, single nucleotide polymorphins or SNPs as molecular markers. And for you to know, um, it's ISIS who manage uh, these species in, in Europe in three main stocks the northern platform stock, the northern stock, and the southern stock. We also took a uh, Mediterranean sample as exterior group. Um, white anglerfish in this area overlaps with uh, his sister species, uh, which is the black anglerfish, Lophis budegasa, and they are uh, easily differentiated by the color of the peritoneum. The peritoneum is um, a skin uh, on the belly of the individuals, and it's white in white anglerfish and black in black anglerfish. Okay, so in the first PCA uh, performed with only uh, supposed to be white anglerfish, we detected uh, three main groups. They are very concentrated, that's why maybe you cannot see very well, but you have uh, three main groups. And we observed something strange that in order to observe a gradient of geographic location of the samples, we found that uh, in these three groups in the PCA, um, they were samples from different locations. And that's why we started to, to think that there were something more than white anglerfish in, in our dataset. To go further with that suspect, uh, we analyzed the mitochondrial DNA of the individuals and we found that in the group of the left uh, there were only uh, white anglerfish mitochondrial DNA. In the right uh, group there were only black anglerfish mitochondrial DNA and in the middle they were uh, both individuals with black and uh, individuals with uh, white anglerfish mitochondrial DNA. So that's why we started to suspect that uh, we have an hybridization. That's why also we took some black anglerfish uh, samples as a control. And when we introduced them in the, um, in the data set, they located also in the right part, confirming that we had white anglerfish, black anglerfish and hybrids when we were giving from the um, surveys campaign 
supposedly only white anglerfish. So knowing that, uh, we perform a new hybrid software analysis to see what uh, happened with uh, that hybrid, if they were reprodu reproducing between them or, or whatever. And um, we detected uh, F1 first generation hybrids, uh, the son of two parental species, we we'll say, and back crosses from both sides, um, discovering a B modal um, hybridization. A back cross is uh, the son uh, of uh, one parental species uh, crossed with one F1 hybrid. So that uh, told us that maybe they are not uh, really, or they don't have really high fitness, uh, these hybrid individuals, and they don't pass to, uh, to uh, well, we, we didn't find um, F2 individuals. Okay. So one of the problems was the mislabeling, no? Because um, in few words we were getting uh, was white anglerfish uh, hybrids and black anglerfish when we were supposed to get only white anglerfish from from fisheries, and that's why we measure by the three stocks and also in the Mediterranean, uh, in the left uh, graph. Um, at which extent uh, mislabeling um, was present in, in different areas. Uh, you have in blue Lophis budagasa, in yellow Lophis piscatorius, the white, and in green uh, hybrids. So as you can see, uh, uh, sorry, and the, you have the same thing, but um, partitioned by more specific areas in the in the right part of the of the graph. Uh, so as you can see, um, we have um, more um, mislabeling in the north, or sorry, in the south part, and we almost don't have mislabeling in the northern part of Europe. And this is quite curious because um, it. Uh, concord a lot with the distribution of both species because white anglerfish has a more northern distribution and um, black anglerfish has a more southern uh, distribution and it's also in the middle part as you can see where uh, both species get in, in contact and form um, uh, known hybridization zone. Okay. So that uh, will have many implications for for management. And now our, our, our coming back to our real objective, uh, that was to assess the the population structure of of real white anglerfish. Um, we only took those samples that we knew exactly they were white anglerfish and um, we performed different PCAs, one with uh, the exterior group with Mediterranean and another one with only Atlantic samples, uh, showing uh, clearly that in the Atlantic, uh, which is our objective, um, Lophis piscatorius or white anglerfish forms um, Pamictic population, okay, like only one mixed population. Okay, so what will be the take home message? Um, the thing is that there is no concordance between the three current management stock uh, established by ISIS. Uh, with the biological structure of the species, because biological structure is telling us that we only have uh, one population of white anglerfish in the in the Atlantic. Also, we recorded for the first time the hybridization uh, between 
white anglerfish and black anglerfish and that there uh, no or we uh, still have to to investigate more but they don't seem to be very uh, fit and we don't expect the formation of a species only that it's first generation uh, hybridization and it stays there and uh, knowing all this information uh, we have the third home message that will be the important mislabeling that is occurring uh, in some areas of the european waters and the implications for management because there is a high percentage of individuals that they are not uh, which is expected. So therefore, maybe um, uh, one of the solutions will be to change the key identification guides because we have seen the, that peritoneum uh, is not maybe any more suitable to distinguish both the species because we had uh, black anglerfishes that we imagine that they distinguish them with the white peritoneum and they thought they were white but in fact they were or even hybrid or even white or even black um, and that's all uh, thank you for your attention i don't know if you have any doubts you can contact me of course mm, thank you